Look at my nipples are exposed for everyone. <laughs> Click merge call. <laughs> oh! oh. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm JJ. And welcome to your third favorite podcast, Summer Celebration. Also, and I think uh, we do need to say something uh, about about last episode. Josh has <laughs> a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a, of a more of a kind of a serious declaration to make. I want to I want to say it straight to the audience. I want to apologize. At the end of last episode, during an improvised song, I said that my mom beat me. And then I said, just kidding, my dad beat me. Neither of those are true. I was not beat as a kid. That was a tasteless joke that should have never been made. Please don't cancel me, and please don't cancel my parents. Thank you. Even more so, please don't cancel his parents, because they really are lovely humans. Yeah, they're wonderful. Sandy and David, love you. Yeah, they're watching. Love you. All right, so uh, today on the show, um, we are we're going to be playing Word Snake throughout the entire episode. We played this a few episodes back. It's a new thing this season. Matt has uh, a list of words for each of us, <laughs> and we have to try and sneak them into conversation uh, throughout the episode. Uh, and Matt, do you want to? Here are your word sneak words, yeah, no, JJ. Oh, JJ's word sneak words thing. are yeah. barbecue, benefer, yeah, summer gosh. solstice, space jam, a new legacy, and a horse neigh. Josh's word sneak words are galoshes, popsicle, seedless watermelon, white boy summer, and good vibrations by the Beach Boys. If for each of these words that you sneak in, you will receive 100 points. And you can call each other out if you think that was a word sneak word. But if you're wrong, you lose 100 points. Okay. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. You got to be ready on the equinox. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, always, you always come straight out with some like crazy <laughs> phrase that sounds like an Ewok said it. <laughs> or okay. It, or it sounds like it's straight from uh, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It the new movie coming out this summer oh gosh you know yeah you're out you're with your friends <laughs> okay you're, no. you're at a barbecue you know <laughs> all right let's play our first game which we have played before called see that b now that of course stands for call that bro what's going to happen here is we we're each going to choose someone in the other person's phone to call at random and then matt just before we call, is going to give us a random topic to discuss with them. Whoever stays on the phone the longest with their chosen recipient of the call wins. And to clarify, you cannot sneak your word sneak words <laughs> into the phone call. You cannot. And if you get caught, if someone says like, hey, are you recording me right now? Or is this for a bit or anything like that? Which happened to me. That happened to JJ last time. Your time stops there. Okay, so whoever lasts on the phone longer will receive 250 points. Oh, my okay. goodness. All right. We'll have J uh, Josh choose who JJ is calling first. Okay. okay. You are calling my grandpa and grandma fossiled. Oh, gosh. <laughs> my What's his name? Gareth? No. <laughs> What's your grandma's name? Jennifer? No, no you're going to say... Uh, Jennifer? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just grandpa and grandma. Grandpa and grandma. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> it's James and Carolyn. So uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh. Okay. All right. You ready? You are calling Robert Carlson. <laughs> Robert Carlson is a friend of ours who we actually sent a mail time to last season. And he's my roommate. <laughs> and he's Matt's roommate. So, but but so it's not just going to be a buddy buddy call, Matt. What is JJ? What does he need to talk to Robert JJ, about? JJ, your topic is summer road trips. Summer road trips with Robert Carlson. <laughs> hey, JJ, what's up? Rob, how are you? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm great. So I'm doing a couple summer road trips this summer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And trying to figure out, I want to kind of hit some cool theme parks. Ooh. And so I kind of want to go go with a uh, with a summer road trip and hit some cool theme parks. Uh, I would uh, recommend there's a lot of good parks in the Midwest. There's Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. What are, what are some other ones? I'm writing this down. Uh, well, you've got Busch Gardens Williamsburg was voted the most scenic, uh, uh, scenic Cenus. park. Scenic <laughs> park. Gary, Indiana, Gary. In do you know that musical? I do. That's the music man. Yeah, good job. Which is better than cats. Well, you know, that's debatable, Rob. It's debatable. <laughs> Have you ever uh, road trip down to Legoland? I have been there before, yes. 
and uh, the but the model cities are just amazing. They've got all of America in Lego bricks. So if you want to add to that road trip theme, you can basically travel all through America Lego style, right at Legoland. But we're not talking about air travel right now, Robert. We're talk we're talking about road trips. No, we're not. Yeah, we got to stay on topic. <laughs> we got to stay on the topic. So I think if you're going to go roller coaster, Cedar Point is a must add to okay. that list. There's Lagoon uh, in Utah, so that's just north of Salt Lake City, I think. Uh, and that has uh, you probably saw Cannibal from the freeway. It had uh, I think one of the steepest drops in the world. Yes. And you go up an elevator shaft to start with. Um, it's very unnerving, but it's very smooth uh, and uh, really thrilling. Was that was that uh, with your family? Were you guys on a summer road trip? No, that was just by myself, but that was after quarantine. You know, it was like in June, and I've oh. been at home for a few months. Wait, that so was, was recent? Like, yes. So you took a little you took a little road trip to by yourself. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of on the way from Denver. They have a new ride that they're building right now, and if that ride is open by the time uh, your road trip goes, uh, you should definitely go. Okay. It's called, um, like, Prometheus or something. Prometheus. Or no, uh, not prehistoric. Gosh, now I gotta look it up. Hang on, I'm looking it up right now. How much time okay. do you have? I'm... I'm I'm golden. I don't got anything going on. All right, excellent. I'm looking up uh, Lagoon. Yeah, so they've got uh, ten operating roller coasters. Oh, Primordial. That's their new one that's uh, opening up. Um, 2023. Oh shoot. Okay. Oh, and oh, I'm thinking of so many parks now. I just want you to be able to have all the options and weigh all the options. JJ. Lay them on me. Cool. Um. Let's see. So, yeah, I, I, Holiday World, they've got uh, probably one of the world's best collections of wooden roller coasters, and everything in the park is themed to different holidays. So they have a 4th of July section, they have a ho uh, Halloween section, and they've got a Thanksgiving section and a Christmas section. Um, so I've, I've always wanted to go myself. I can't vouch for this park personally because I haven't been uh -huh. yet. It's kind of a wacky place, wacky like Adam Sandler, you know? Uh, that's my Adam Sandler impression. Do you just have to shoehorn in certain uh, uh, celebrity impressions? For what? Uh, I mean, just is is that part of? Like, oh, that's just a, my life. Uh, yeah, that's just part of my life. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, cool. But I thought I thought it might be a bit for uh, the podcast that you guys. That's it. That's time. That's time. <laughs> He's called you out. Yes, he has. Robert called me out. <laughs> Time is up. Dang it, Robert. <laughs> Robert, Tell him what you had to Ro do. Robert, you are being recorded. <laughs> oh, excellent. Terrific. I was actually very intrigued by, by the roller coasters, and I will go to that. I would love to go to that holiday world with you because that actually does sound very cool. Um, so the game is called See That B, which stands for Call That Bro. Um, and Josh and I each choose somebody for the other to call and uh, whoever keeps their bro on the phone the longest while top talking about a certain topic that Matt gives us wins. Ah, uh, okay. So what do we get? We got 24 minutes or so? 25 minutes and 12 seconds. We got 25 minutes and 12 seconds. Oh my and we gosh. Could have, Robert, I could have gone for an hour. I, I had to start saying Adam Sandler once every, <laughs> every minute. Robert, can you guess what our topic was? It was road trips. Yeah. It was summer road trips. I would like, if I could say so myself, I yeah. thought that was good. Well, thank you, Robert. This is Josh. <laughs> thank you, Robert. I didn't say anything bad about you guys. <laughs> and Robert, congrats again. We're gonna say we're saying this live to all of our all our listeners. Robert got engaged. And I really appreciate it. Love you, Robert. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for picking up the phone. All right, I'll talk to you soon. All right, talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye, JJ. Little did we know we were going to wow. get the, the world <laughs> expert on roller coasters. A work of genius <laughs> yes. incorporating theme parks into the topic of summer road trips because I don't know if there's anyone in the world that could talk to you longer about theme parks than Robert Carlson. Nobody. I was, I was, I was, the minute you went there, I was like, oh, man, this conversation is going to go for a while. <laughs> that was funny when he was like, well, getting back to road trips. Yeah, he said, got to get back, got to stay on topic. So I would have had to say Adam Sandler every minute? Yes. So I thought you were going to like give me like a new one every time. Like, uh, no, no, Got to no. talk about Adam. Adam so Sandler, the and then you got to talk about the hit, summer equinox, and yeah. then you know, the new rule is Space Jam: A New Legacy. Minutes, you have to have a word that's shoehorned <laughs> in to use Robert's yeah. term. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, that is going to be a hard one to beat. Yes, pick out, pick out the person. Like I'm freezing up, <laughs> like a darn otter pop popsicle. Like a darn otter pop. That is the B you are giving the C to. <laughs> John Cologne, a mentor to us both. <laughs> yes, he used to take us to breakfast. Uh, like every Thursday morning, me, JJ, and a group of guy, a, a group of guys in our twenties, and would pay for our breakfast. What is this topic? And your topic is <laughs> Florida. <laughs> what am I going to talk about, Florida? <laughs> Dang it! Hello, John. Yeah. John, can you hear me? Yeah. This is a random question. Um, I uh. Uh, Brenna and I are looking to go on vacation sometime soon. With the next one we're thinking of crossing off our list is Florida. And I'm wondering if you guys have, were, John and Jackie, have you guys ever been there? Well, John, if how, how long were you in Florida for? Oh, days. We were on uh, a musical tour. Boca Raton and Orlando. Wait, I didn't hear that first one. Uh, Boca Raton. D-O-C-A. A-T-O-N, Boca Raton. Fountain of Youth was. <laughs> in Florida? Uh, Ponce de Leon. Well, I don't know. Well, is that, wait. Is, they thought the Fountain of Youth was in Florida. Is that why lots of, like, you know, retiring folks moved to Florida? <laughs> no, I think the weather and the golf and maybe the prices. I think you would want to go, you want to hit Miami. Miami. And I think. Miami. Do you think there's pirates in Florida? Oh, I'm sure there are. Yeah. In fact, I know there are in Orlando. There's a whole bunch of pirates in the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were on mission. To, they, like, were on a, they were in a different city every night. Yeah, we were doing music. It was a music group. Oh, so it wasn't like uh, you didn't really do much while you were there. Oh, no. Oh, we, John, that doesn't help me. We, no. <laughs> I know Katie can help you immensely because she knows Florida. John, I don't have I don't have her number. Could you merge the call with Katie? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you her uh, contact information. <laughs> Jackie, if you press the button that says "Add Call," I think it'll it'll take you to a <clears throat> a thing where you can type in Katie. And you know, she may be where in the world now. Yeah. No, you know, while we're on, I get you can. Oh, while we're on? Yeah. You click, click add call. Candy contested. Here we go. Yeah. And I'll get her. John? <laughs> John. <laughs> he might be on a. Click merge call. <laughs> it's still going though? Yeah, it's still. <laughs> Josh? Jo hey, John. She, uh, I, I left her an, a message on the answering service. She never answered. Oh, I appreciate you doing that though. It, in Florida? Yeah. Where? Well, we, oh, wait, there's Katie. Katie is on. Hold on here. Uh, what do I do? Switch. Josh? Yeah, John. Okay, I talked to Katie. He said, Josh? Of course I know Josh. Have him call me. John, I trust you more. You trust me? Yeah. You can't trust me. I don't know Florida that well. But I trust your wisdom. Josh? You're, you're pulling my leg, and is this online with someone else? Are you You've been called out. <laughs> okay, John, you guessed it. My my really good friend and someone you know is here with. S say hi. Hi, John. Oh, guys, no wonder you didn't want to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> John, JJ and I are playing a game. We're, we're recording. We're playing a game for our podcast. JJ said, okay, we'll see who can talk to someone on the phone the longest with a random topic. And I was told to call you and talk about Florida. <laughs> This is one of the longest calls that we've had. You did a really good job. <laughs> and I'm glad Jackie was there, too. I got two for the price of one. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs>
<laughs> almost had three for the price of one. With the ad we almost we almost got Katie in there too, but we want it to be someone we both know, and we're like, okay, well, we used to get breakfast with John all the time. Let's call John. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm, I'm glad you did. Really. <laughs> Thanks, John. I'll, I appreciate this. You were a really good sport. We'll talk to you soon, dude. 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, that was a long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell, tell Jackie I said hi. I will. Love you guys. Love, Love you, John. You. Bye. Both excellent rounds. Yeah, I, I see that be. I didn't, wow. I didn't win, but we had two <laughs> winner calls. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well. JJ wow. gets the All points. Right. JJ gets 250 points well, for see that. The beat. best loss I've ever had. Josh, can you put the points up? Yeah, 250. Just because I don't want I don't want to show my backside because it's probably quite sweaty. Only me, me too. <laughs> okay, well that was uh, those were some good calls. Josh, I think you asked that poor man how many nights he spent in Orlando about eight times. <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> Well, we're going to move on from See That Be, and we're going back to a classic from season one, 10 Second Impressions, Redemption. So, Matt, do you want to explain to everybody what that means? <laughs> yeah, so if you watch season one, a couple times we played a game called 10 Second Impressions where I gave them random celebrities, and they had no prep time. They had to just do a 10-second impression of that celebrity doing a different scenario. And if you watched, you remember they were pretty bad. They were abysmal. Yeah. But uh, minus a couple of them. No, J- we, 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 I, we each had a couple. Some of them were good, good some but of most of them were bad. So we're calling this 10 Second Impressions Redemption. Yes. <laughs> and I have chosen from season one that I think that they did not do well or could be improved upon significantly. And I have told them before the show which celebrities they will be doing again. So we'll see this time with prep time how good they are. But All right, so I have a sun hat here with different scenarios. You have not seen the scenarios. We have not. But you do know the celebrities. Yeah, so okay. I'm going to start with Josh, and you're going to do a celebrity impression, 10-second impression of Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Bradley Cooper. Hey, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> hey, Robert. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Bradley Cooper and my action is... At the grocery store. I'm just going to go over here in the meat department. Let's see what we got here. A rack of ribs. Oh, and look at that steak. Man, I just want to sit here and look at you. That beautiful, juicy That's way over steak. 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, next we have right. JJ impersonating Bob Dylan. Yeah, I'll take <laughs> The I'll take eyes. a take a turkey there, man. Yeah, so I'll take that turkey. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see if I can. I I had never heard Bob Dylan before. I, I mean, I heard songs, but I didn't. Now you have. Like, at dinner with their sick and figure. Oh, okay, all right. Hey, baby girl, I want to have a. Oh, I'll gonna get, give me some of the pasta. Hey, okay, I'm gonna have some pasta. You want some breadsticks? Okay. <laughs> I will say it was significantly better than the last one. Well, yeah, when you've heard someone speak before, you're going to do better. All right, next we have Josh impersonating Jimmy Stewart. You know, welcome back to the Tonight Show. Uh, I'm Jimmy Stewart, and this is, uh, I'm going to eat this delicious pie that uh, my, my friend, my wife, Martha Stewart, made for me. All right, Jimmy Stewart, putting the kids to, putting the kids to bed. All right. J- uh, James, James Jr., I just need you to go brush your teeth on there and just put the toothpaste on your toothbrush and covers over your head and go to sleep, okay? No, don't call for your mother. Don't call for your mother. <laughs> it started out good. It started out strong. <laughs> <laughs> At first I was like, oh, and then... Then it, it went <laughs> into like a, a Boston accent. All right, next we have JJ impersonating oh, Lizzo. <laughs> okay. All right! Now I want you to go to bed right now. No doing your hair toss, no checking your nails, because I don't care if you're feeling good as hell, because you need to go to bed. Lizzo in a job interview. Ah, okay, let me tell you what. I'm a bad A bitch. And <laughs> we'll bleep that. I already have a million dollars, okay? All right? I do my hair toss, check my nails. Tell me how I feel. I'm feeling good as hell. Ha! <sighs> well, I appreciate how you went for it. I, I, it just came out. I'm very sorry. <laughs> All right, next we have Josh impersonating Harrison Ford. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> well, uh, Julie Andrews, uh, well, uh, <laughs> I know you love me. <laughs> this is the worst impression ever. This one, this might have been my worst <laughs> one. Harrison Ford buying a ticket to a movie. Uh, well, um, all these movies I've been in, so already seen my parts in the Star Wars. What else is there to see in Star Wars? Indiana Jones 8 doesn't come out for another three months. Ugh. No, Chewy, Chewy, we're, we're, we're not going to see Star Wars. We were in Star Wars, Chewy. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> yes. That is all I need to hear. <laughs> Improvement. Yeah. All right, next, JJ will be impersonating Michael Caine. I want to tell you something about this in history. Now, the first president of the United States was George Washington. Michael Caine. Who's got a very distinct voice. Buying a car. Now, let me ask you something about this car right here. This car, Master Wayne, drives a car like this. He drives a car. Do you drive your car? Do you drive your car to work? Because I would drive this one to work right now. I tell you right now. Good sir. I'm Michael Caine. <laughs> Every Michael Caine impression ends with, I'm, I'm Michael, Michael Caine. <laughs> All right, Josh, we're going to have you end off with your season one fan favorite, uh -huh. Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> we posted this one on TikTok and people commented how horrible it was. <laughs> So it's just a white guy saying Porsche? <laughs> Porsche! Okay, that's not it this time. Okay. So I'm, I'm uh, sitting there, and, um, <laughs> and and I'm putting all the, pe the pecans on there, and I say, Porsche! Porsche! Come in here, Porsche! <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> Ellen at church. All right, everybody. It's me, Ellen DeGeneres. I'm Ellen. I've been busy doing movies. <laughs> I'm Ellen. Church. It's her R's. I can't get them. I practice and it's still bad. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm Ellen. <laughs> I'm, I'm Ellen. So, so your, you first, know, one, your I, first one is Portia. Portia. Your second one, I'm Ellen. I'm Ellen. I, so I, like you said, I watched videos of Kate McKinnon doing Ellen DeGeneres. Uh -huh. And it's her, it's the specific words she said, like Kate Kate said she would say a specific word, galoshes. I, and I can't even say it, galoshes. It's galoshes. I, yeah. All right, and we'll end off with you, JJ, fittingly, with Steve Buscemi. Yes. Steve Buscemi. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> I pissed myself off. Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I wet the bed. <laughs> Discussing COVID-19. Now you see the thing about COVID-19 and the pandemic, you know, it's it's quite interesting to see what has happened to the the virus. Now, it is, in my opinion, that we should all be vaccinated against this virus. Okay. It it's, wasn't good. Yeah. But wasn't, it wasn't improved. improved. All right. And just for the heck of it, I asked each of you, what is a different celebrity impression that you think that you can do okay to well? And I would like JJ to impersonate Ben Shapiro and Josh to impersonate Mark Wahlberg having a conversation together. And the topic is you're having a night out on the town. You want to start or you want me to start? Yeah. Hey, 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 Ben. Hey, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Okay, look, look. Okay, we're out here. We're, we're on the town. We're in the streets of New York. Okay. Now, I want to go out on the town with you because I want to hear from you. Hey, Ben. First off, what I want to say is, say hi to your mother for me. I, I will. Se secondly, I've always been a fan of the juice, okay? Of which, you know, I'm from Boston. There's a lot of people in Boston. Yep. A lot of people in Boston. A lot of great Jewish people in Boston. Jewish people built the, are the backbone of many countries. Right. Yeah. And, and, and here's and, the thing. The, you know, the, the left, they're, they're promulgating this narrative, okay? And, 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 and it all stems from Orange Man Bad, right? Orange Man Bad. And it's, it's asinine. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I will say both of those were better than the previous eight. <laughs> this is this is interesting because I went into this, I oh, went no. into this fully expecting one scenario. Oh god, what was that? Because I mean, let's not beat around the bush here. JJ is better at impressions than Josh. Hey, shout it in the comments. That's true. Um, <laughs> That's but, not my thing. 
But if I have to choose, oh come oh, on, come listen, on. listen, listen. This is not no. this is not rigged or anything. I have this to go with rigged. what I think was my favorite impression. Right? Yeah. Okay. This is and this I think is, and I think in terms of again. I think in terms of which one I I was most impressed by, and which one was the most significant improvement on the last one. Uh-huh. I have to give it to Josh's impression of Harrison Ford. Yes. What? Yes. Are you kidding me? So Josh, you get two hundred <laughs> points. Yes. Though. Hey, relax, relax. And this, no, it's the same I've, thing I've, as last year. No, no, I fully went into this no, expecting no, JJ no, no, is going no, to win the points for this. I do not want to hear it. It was the most improved. It was. Your Bob Dylan was a close second for me. This, this is this is collusion. This is collusion, <laughs> and, and it's asinine. <laughs> that was great, though. If you get the word asinine, you got the whole kit and caboodle. Well, that leads us into our next segment. Don't worry, I won't be smiling for long yeah. because we've got a segment we've done before called Tryhards. Tryhards. And today's Tryhards, um, Josh, what would you say? Uh, well, it actually comes from a viewer. Yes, it she does. She commented this. She commented uh, and emailed. Uh, so She sent it multiple times. <laughs> multiple times. So Mary Smith told us that we should try something. And Josh, this thing that we're going to be trying, how do you feel about it? Well... As Chet Hanks says, <laughs> white boy summer is right around the corner. Oh, yeah. So I think it's about time, JJ, that you and I wax ourselves. So we have a, we've got a wheel here. A little spinny, spinny wheel. So we're going to spin this wheel. And then whatever it lands on, we are going to, so, you know, arm. So, so I would have to wax my arm. So let, me, let me get the waxing kit out. Let's have JJ spin first. <laughs> All right. Also for safety, we have uh, pre and post pre and post wax spray. Uh, this, is nerve, this is nerve wracking. Oh my gosh. Oh oh, faulty stomach. stomach. <laughs> Dang it, dude. All right. Okay. All Look. right. Lift up the old shirt. Give me that. Yeah, give me that bottom button. Ooh. I'm getting. I'm getting you with that pre wax spray. Oh gosh. Huh. I want to do extra because I don't want you to get hurt. All right. So oh, we've got gosh. this wax. Do you here. know how to do this? Did you Did you look at the? How hot is that? Is that gonna like burn your skin? Oh, it's not. It's not horrible. It's just melted. The worst part's gonna be the pulling for sure. Oh crap. <laughs> Stuck on my fingers. Okay. Simple enough. All right. Okay. I need you to stand up a little. And then maybe try to like poke your belly out. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. Right there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do a. That's your strip. Oh, oh, oh. Now how long does it have to dry? Uh. I don't know. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna uh fast forward this a bit, till it's till JJ's ready to be pulled. Ready? Maybe. All oh right. Oh my gosh. We gotta we gotta peel the corner. The, the the peeling in the corner is probably going to be the worst part. Okay. Okay. Wait. I'm I'm not pulling yet. I'm trying to get that. Ow! Oh, I know. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna want to use not the glove. No, not glove hand. Okay. Okay. Ready? I don't know. Hold on. My hand I, is wet. You I just need... gotta you gotta rip it. I know. It. I I don't want to. So I don't want to only get half of it. Okay. Hold on. Ah! Hold on. Ah! Oh. Ah! Get that after wax spray. Hey, wow. you handled that like a champion. Oh. What happens if I, I'm going to land on pass right now? <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm going for me. Got a good spin there. Big money, big money, big money. I'm in good spirits because it hasn't happened to me yet. Chest. Oh, oh it's the leg. Oh, leg. Uh, Put your leg up on the table. Oh. Oh, 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 no, 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 JJ. What? That's way too much. No, it's not. That's literally as much as you put on me. Oh, stop. Okay, don't even. Dude, look at all these strings. I didn't give you all these strings. Yes, you did. Yes, I had a string that was just as bad as that, and you know it. <laughs> okay, give me a three. Give me a three, two, one, okay? <laughs> three, two, one. Ah! Oh. Oh, my God. So this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. <laughs> all right. Well. Uh, shall we? Please, just give me leg. 
Or a pass. Uh, okay. So we land on stomach again. Okay, you ready? No. Go. Okay, oh, there we go. I got it. Oh, oh I, I got it on your shirt a little. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, oh come on, come on, come on. <laughs> no, look, look, I'm trying to get it in the one spot. That's not helping. Yes, That's it good. is. It's about the same. Yeah, that is. is a way bigger strip. Here, wait. I'm trying to get the little pieces off. That there you go. There you go. Bigger. Some spidey webs. What do you think? Is it ready to be pulled? Yeah. Okay. We got it. It's dry enough, folks. Second pull edge. You ready? Ah! What do you want? Do you want a three, two, one, or do you want to? Just, just, just rip it off like a bandaid. Okay. I'm going to do a three, two, one. Okay, ready? I got three, two. Ah! Somersault! <laughs> oh gosh, dude, that holy shnikes. That got it. And also, I'm calling oh. that as one of your words. I, I actually didn't get it out. So. Somersault or what? Summer, what? Somersault. Somersault. Summer. I'm gonna. Whatever. I'm gonna give this to Josh because summer I didn't get it out. Somersault. I didn't get but, it out. But you said you were saying it. You was no, trying. I was, saying I, was gonna, <laughs> I was saying somersault to try and trip him up. Insult to injury. I was gonna give you points for that, JJ, but he called you out. All right, I'll spin for my. I tried one. to trip him up. Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't. Collusion yet again. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, it's collusion. If I would have given you points at the end, you wouldn't have said nothing. Oh. No. Oh. No, because I would it. not have. I would not have counted oh, that. Oh my god. Because I didn't actually say the word. Dude, I think <laughs> I landed on maybe the worst one. I think you did too. Uh, so All where, right, I'm gonna. Where's the area that like? It's here. Like it's... that whole thing. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. This is a same size strip as the other ones. Yeah, that's true. I guess. This one. Oh, the hair is long. It's like waxing my face. <laughs> the wax doesn't feel as good here. Oh my gosh. Just in, just in time for summer for me to walk around just freaking bare armpitted. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, that hurt. Our... Do you want to get the? You want to get the corner? You get the corner. No, no, no. You, there's already enough right there for you to grab. That hurts. That hurts. Do you want a three, two, one, or a surprise? I want whatever. Whatever. <laughs> ah! Did you get it? Sometimes, sometimes the surprise is better, right? Yeah, the surprise was much better. You got me while I was talking. <laughs> Mary's not allowed to watch her show anymore. <laughs> Mary's not allowed to give suggestions. All right, All right, final spins. This is final spin for JJ. I'll just, I guess I'll just go shirt off the rest of the time. <laughs> if this goes to arm. No, 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 no. Oh! Come on, come on. No, no, no. Don't hit it. <laughs> I don't know if you could see how close that oh. is to going to pass. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I want to get Oh, gosh. I want to get right there. I saw a, the hairiest there's part. There's a big old. You see that? There's a big old tuft of hair back there. <laughs> Which, I, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm grateful. Pre, pre, pre spray, pre spray. You're right. Sorry. You ready? No. This might feel nice on the back of the arm, though. I mean. <laughs> Dude. Oh, come on. What? That is a huge strip. Huge strip for a not painful you, spot. Uh, that is, are you <laughs> kidding me? The back of the arm is painful. That's a massive strip. I was nice to you. You were wow. nice to me because I had a sensitive area. I had the two, I had two sensitive areas. Look at my nipples are exposed for everyone. <laughs> Stop complaining. That's your, that's your own fault. No. All right. <laughs> Wait, does this feel ready? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing it just has written on there, do bad Scooby-Doo impression. <laughs> okay, wait. I think this is ready. I'm trying to get a corner. <laughs> this is your last oh, oh. one. Okay, you ready? Make sure everybody can see. Oh, my gosh. What do you want? Let's go. Ow! Ooh. Oh, Dude, okay. your arm oh. looks good. <laughs> Let me get you with that post spray. Oh, that one, I, I will say that one was not as bad. Yeah, that one wasn't as bad. Which, actually, you know why I think it wasn't wait. as bad? I think you had too much area. You think you had too much surface area. 
Now if it really does land on pass, you're gonna think it's rigged. Last one. Oh, oh choice. Hmm. <laughs> Josh. I'm thinking either match the armpits or match like this area, like right no! over the nipple. I feel I feel like you gotta go with the nipple area or or the other armpit. Josh, I'm gonna let you choose between those two. What does nipple area mean? Just over your chest. Like right here? You know, well, I'm nervous. I have an irrational fear of my nipple getting ripped off. <laughs> what if what if you rip it off and my nipple's just there? <laughs> Don't hit the nipple, just hit the, the, the hair next to the nipple. Yeah. Is that where you're going? Yeah. <sighs> I could just do what you did. You bit oh, ow, 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 it already hurts. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, while we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to let you take them. Go ahead. You are? I don't care. All right. Mandisa. <laughs> I feel like that one is, I mean, it could be. You know what always replenishes me? Um, It's a seedless watermelon. Because I can't, you know, the seeds upset my stomach. <laughs> All right, uh, JJ, I think we're ready. Ready. So now, which direction? Right. Let's say go against. Okay, that should be enough. Do you want Don't... me to go really slow? No! If you go really slow, you get one more. <laughs> Don't what? punch me in the face. I'll try not to. Ah! <gasps> Just to remind everyone, we're in my in-laws' garage right now, <laughs> waxing each other. <laughs> and for the audio listeners, we're really sorry about this episode. Yeah, a lot of screaming. We'll, we'll have to... Oh, my gosh. Dude, it is... We would recommend you watch this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this this feels numb. Oh, God. Did you show the people this? I uh, know. <laughs> Look at that. That's insane. Oh, and it's gross, too. I've been sitting here with my shirt off for about... He looks like a wild mountain grizzly bear. 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Right, what do you say we hide all these <laughs> in the garage? <laughs> we'll hide them all. Uh, but uh, right now we've got Tat Mori out in the field. Tat, what's going on today for This Day in History? Hey, Tat Mori out here on location in Disney World again this week. And that's because on this day in 1999, Disney first introduced the Fast Pass. If you're unfamiliar with Fast Pass, it's a small paper ticket that you receive with a return time for each ride, letting you bypass the long lines and giving you even more time to spend money in the gift shops and restaurants. What's more magical than a corn dog in one hand and a collectible Clarabelle the Cow tumbler in the other, all while blissfully ignoring your crippling student debt? Thank you for giving us even more of those special magical moments, Disney. Back to you both in the studio. Well, I could really go for some Disney magic right now. Mm, I think we all could. <laughs> the two of us specifically. Yes. Well. The things we do for beauty. That's true. And entertainment. All right. It's the end of the episode. So let's see how you guys did at Word Sneak. <laughs> uh, all right. So first up, I'm going to I'm going to uh, retroactively change uh, something. I'm going to accept my error from before and... I thought, J.J., you were trying to say the word summer solstice, but I, I realize now you were trying to say somersault. So I am going to take 100 points away from Josh for calling you out on that uh, because that was not one of your words. J.J.'s word sneak words were barbecue, which he got he in. He got that. Benifer, which he got in. Benifer? Yeah. Like when did ben you say that? Way early. Way <laughs> early, way early. And he said Space Jam, A New Legacy. When? <laughs> Way early on. I was in another world. <laughs> and he did a horse neigh. <laughs> I did like three horse neighs, but Matt kept on saying it was wasn't good it wasn't enough. it wasn't good enough. It was just kind of you blowing your lips like <laughs> it wasn't a real horse neigh, but you got one in at the end. Oh All my right. Gosh. So you got four hundred points. You did not say summer solstice. Good job. Josh. Uh you said this word multiple times. You didn't need to. You said galoshes. How many times did I say it? You said it two or three times, and I was like, "Why does he keep trying to f shoehorn hey, that you in?" Got it. Good job, buddy. I I All only right. remember saying it once. <laughs> he said seedless watermelon. I almost called you on that. He said white boy summer. Whoa. I did that. I got that in the intro of this. That was smart. That was smooth. Huh? And he did not say popsicle. No, I did. I said 
I said, uh, I said this, I said this near the beginning. I know for a fact I said this. It was when, uh, after you called, the f whole phrase was, it was during the see that bee. I said, oh, I feel like I'm going to freeze up like I'm an otter pop or a popsicle or something. <laughs> popsicle. <laughs> okay. That was, that was my entire phrase. Okay. All right. And then you did not say good vibrations by the Beach Boys. I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got four. I knew it was funny. Is like at the end there, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot that you were like. <laughs> I was trying to mess you up, Mandisa. I was like, mm. I so know, you got so you got four, Josh. But also, I'm going to take a hundred away. So I got three calling out. Yeah, so you got three hundred. Oh. JJ got four hundred. You guys know if you've been following along this season how we end our episodes. We like to serenade you with an improvised song of everything that just happened in this episode oh we see some bees of ours and we had some long conversations and fast forward to the end we sang about those talks with a guitar <laughs> <laughs> then we did what two men should never have to do to each other. We waxed ourselves. Well, we waxed one another. We played word sneak with each other. And, well, it was fun. <clears throat> when I think of a guy who I love, it's Chet Hanks. He's number one. White boy summer, baby. Oh, seedless watermelon is so delicious, but it makes Josh's tummy upset. And is Mantisa at the top of the charts? Let me check. Oh, no, not yet, but she will Your third be. podcast is over. <laughs> we hope you had fun. And now it's time to go to bed. So good night, now we're done. So now it's time to go to bed. So good night, now we're done. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And liking. And subscribing. We really appreciate it. We will see you next week. Except for Mary, no more comments. Mary, if we see you comment on this, we're blocking you. <laughs>